Yo, what's up? My name's RetroPat, and the two biggest suggestions I keep getting for you guys in the comments right now for my Dungeon Defenders progress is making a DPS monk, which sounds really fun and honestly exciting. I really like building characters, and getting a genie. And I may not fully understand the benefits of a genie or fully comprehend why I need a genie so bad, but I'm going to try to learn this episode, okay? I do actually have a really powerful genie over here called Shazam, or it seems pretty solid to me, like these stats on this genie are pretty solid in my opinion, um, over in my pets folder. Is this, is this a genie that you guys are talking about? Is this the same kind of genie? Is it a specific genie? Uh, this seems like a genie to me, quite genie-ish. And it seems like you guys have been saying the best use would be to put it on my jester. I still need to get my jester just kitted out in general. Getting my jester up to a higher level. It seems like the genie is really good for upgrading. That's the kind of vibe I'm catching. I'm going to go ahead and switch to a different character just to equip the genie temporarily. Because I just want to see what it's like, okay? I want to see how genie is the genie. Let's switch him over to the monk. Let's go to the item box, head over to our folders, learning every single day in Dungeon Defenders. Give the genie over to my hero, which we should try nowhere. I want to make sure I know where my other pet went, so I can give it back if need be. Yep, fish in a bowl, that's worth 194 mil. Okay, hard to miss. Okay, I have my genie equipped. Most, there's a lot of things in Dungeon Defenders that have a passive effect. Grants mana to you when you damage your opponents, okay. There, now I see the passive effect. Is that going to be it? Okay. So, let's go ahead and... Um, let's try this. Let's go into deeper well... Uh, I don't know. Like, medium... I, I, don't, I don't want it to be too difficult on purpose. I want it to be on, like, deeper well, medium difficulty. I just want to test this. I want to see how this pet works. I want to see the mechanics. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to have zero mana on me. Zero mana on me, jumping into this combat wave. Let's see what this looks like. Do you want to put this kind of thing on a DPS hero specifically? How much... Whoa, that is a lot of mana. Wait, that is a stupid amount of mana. What? Is it in... Co What's it in correlation to? That is a dumb... What? Okay, now... Okay, well... I feel like I say this sentence every day of my life, but... God damn it, Dungeon Defenders YouTube chat. You were so right. How Look at that mana. It's so much. What? Normally, for reference, you would get like, what, 80 mana in the starting wave here? But I have 1,300 just because I have the genie equipped. What in the world? That is unbelievable. So I guess the question becomes, is it worth to equip a genie to a hero during the wave to just smack around and then i put the fish in a bowl on after or should the the genie should specifically be it seems like the genie should specifically be on a dps hero i will say like a dps upgrade based hero it seems like I should, I should do something like the jester or the barbarian for the genie i really like the idea so the jester is okay to me i really i don't i really like melee in this game i really like the idea of upgrading my barbarian honestly like if it's possible and you know what Wait, that's actually perfect because, let's go back to my monk, my barbarian can actually equip the genie. So let's go ahead and try that. I like the let's swap heroes over to my barb. If we could go on an upgrading barb spree, I'm so down. I think this hero is one of my favorite to play. I feel like I don't actually get to play it that much and he's kind of weak, you know, in all honesty, he is kind of weak, um, but he's so fun. I love the barbarian. All right, so I have my two goals in mind. Learn about the genie and then create a DPS monk or maybe even a DPS jester. And I've already worked on one of them. I've learned a lot more about the genie and I'm sure there's a lot more I can learn and I haven't really used it in an actual map yet, but let's go ahead and move on to the next part. I do want to go ahead and create a DPS monk. So back at the main menu, I usually go through this to go for a character creation since you actually do get more options when creating a character like this. Now, after I go ahead and create this DPS monk, I am going to also go ahead and jump into some XP leveling, which I don't really know the best exact way to go about XP leveling, honestly, at this point. Um, complete Halloween spectacular mission on hard. Well, now I kind of... Do I have that? I can't... I don't have that unlocked? I could definitely do that if I wanted to unlock 
the ninja outfit really quick. I like checking stuff like this beforehand so we can actually, you know, Dungeon Defenders is such a good game for, yeah, we're going to go do that actually. Dungeon Defenders is such a good game for, oh, you want to do this thing? You want to do goal number A, right? Okay, well, before you do goal number A, now you've got to do B, C, D, E, F, G, and Y. Like, you end up with all these other goals before actually getting to it. And I kind of like that. It reminds me a lot of Ultimate Iron Man gameplay from Old School RuneScape. So let's go ahead and beat Halloween Spectacular on hard. We can even jump into this map on my own, my all, my other monk, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and find it. it. Should be under Lost Quests, I think. I always get confused, honestly. There's so many maps in Dungeon Defenders that it's easy to definitely get lost in the menus, from my experience. Yeah, I literally did get lost. It's actually under challenges, not under uh, Lost Quests. And it looks like I've already done this map on hard, though. So wait just a minute. Is it Halloween Spectacular 2? I might need to double check then so I don't make a mistake here. I don't want to waste any time. Complete Halloween Spectacular mission on at least hard, hard to unlock. Huh. I should have this complete. I'm surprised it's not giving me access. I'm going to go try to defeat it. Maybe it is Halloween Spectacular too. You know what? We could probably do both of these maps on Nightmare. So you know what? Normally, I'd want to save this for Halloween time. And honestly, I guess Halloween time kind of is coming up soon. I'm sure we'll just do these maps. Maybe we'll be able to do these maps on Ruthless by then. I kind of doubt it. That would be that would be pretty shocking. That'd be pretty insane if I could do these at, by, on Ruthless by then. But you know what? Let's have some fun. I really like the, these maps. I think they're really, really cute, uh, beautiful, really cool looking. Have a really fun aesthetic. Let's go ahead and jump into, sure, Hardcore Mode, Nightmare, Halloween, Spook, A little bit of a holiday theme map i like it man i like that the uh, the mobs will come down on these wispy roads and i almost jumped off the map immediately okay let's go ahead and grab our gem so we do still have interesting we do still have a timer on these nightmare maps which is actually something i wasn't expecting i thought they got rid of timers on all nightmare maps but i bet it was just on some of them maybe like the main original story ones that honestly does kind of make sense i'm gonna go ahead and set up a big fat aura stack here which is going to put in a lot of work. I kind of want to put it here, actually, because it'll also take care of that lower section down there while also taking care of these two big wispy roads. Let's put a triple aura stack right there. Head over to this location and then kind of do the exact same thing here where this aura stack should take care of multiple different locations. That's why I like this. I like this little quadrant. Let's go ahead and place our normal aura stack here. Just lightning, ensnare, strength drain, grabbing the chests whenever we can. You guys end up seeing a lot more of the setup uncut and unedited when I am on Nightmare Difficulty Timer. It's just, it's just harder. There's more stuff to do in a lot faster of a pace. So this section is going to need an aura stack right here. I'll probably go ahead and put it there. Sure. And then I do want to switch over to a different... Probably just over to my... Oof, do I just go to the mage really quick? And set up some lightning towers. The lightning towers are just so powerful, I feel like. Let's do that really quick. We don't have too much time. The summoner is not a bad option as well. I feel like for the first wave, just prioritizing the DPS over the defense, the summoners would not be bad to set up a wall to protect the lightning towers. The only problem I'm, I, I worry about with lightning towers is that they can just die pretty aggressively. Um, let's go ahead and put this, I guess, here. I think that's pretty good. And we'll end up putting a wall of archers here in the future. And then next up, we'll put this here, I guess. And then this... One more, one more over here. And I kind of wanted to switch to a different character before jumping into this map, but obviously not going to have that time, and that's okay. We're going to look at these little pumpkins really quick and now jump into the actual combat itself. There are some minions that do come actually from over here. I do want to input my own DPS where possible. Look at the Frankenstein style guys. I can just honestly just DPS these guys much better than I expected. Which I'll happily take the ability to do. I don't think I can actually... Yeah, I can't ride the Whisper Road. I think that is such a unique mechanic. Having a pathway that only the minions can walk on, but the characters can't. I actually kind of like that. I think it's a really, really cool restriction. And something to build around in a really interesting way. I'm going to go ahead and build another Lightning Tower right here. Since this section is a little open. That spider is not in a... Uh, not in a resist or a strength drain thing. So I need to build another Aura Stack over here is what that means. That's why that was able to get damage off on my lightning towers. The mages are trick-or-treating. Ah, yes, of course they are. Thank you for that uh, that shout-out. That means a lot. That means a lot to me, and I super understand what you're saying, Dungeon Defenders. True and real. Let's go ahead and drop this. Switch over to our 
Monk yet again. We have a lot of defense units left, which is honestly really, really nice here. Build another aura stack right here. I want it to be in range of the other... I want it to be in range of the this that lightning tower if possible because that's the main reason why that one had issues because the spider was actually uh, immune to electric and I didn't have the strength drain aura to go ahead and take care of that and get rid of that like I usually would. Um, I think I might be good for aura stacks. Go grab this chest really quick. I might be full up on aura stacks. I'll grab whatever chests I can and probably switch back. Only 38 seconds. I remember this map has like ridiculously short like absolutely which is wildly 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 short um build times it's i remember that being like, i remember that being a very big point of this i'm gonna go ahead and place my deadly strike tower looking in this direction towards that i really like that actually running very low on time here i'm gonna go ahead and build another lightning tower up here i think i think that'll be in the midst of a couple different i missed like there a couple different aura stacks I'm going to build a deadly strike tower looking down this path. I'm going to build more just towers wherever I can. 103. You still have plenty of defense units. There is a crystal right here, actually. Wow. So I'm going to put a deadly strike tower looking down here. Because I didn't realize there's literally a crystal right there. That is like not that well protected at all, honesty. I'm going to place a lightning tower, I guess. Ooh, where even at? I kind of want to place it here, but I don't want people to cleave... The crystal on accident in response. I'll put it up there and see if that's a problem. Make this jump. I wanted to make that jump over to this mana, but that was oof, almost really, really bad. What is still alive? I think it's the shamans that are just kind of causing problems off over in a distance. Let's see. It's really easy for the shamans to stay out of tower damage range and just, yeah, summon their skeletons and be really annoying and cause problems. I'm going to go ahead and build another deadly strike tower. I really like these deadly strike towers now. It took me a sec to understand just how effective they could be, but they are ridiculous. The warriors are trick-or-treating. Okay. Abs oh, oh, of course. Oh, the warriors are trick-or-treating. Oh, okay. I totally understand that now. Got it. <laughs> Good. Noted. Noted. Okay, let's go ahead and place this here, I guess. Really, really low on tower units. I don't mind just... I don't think I'm going to do... I think I might just commit to no... I might just commit to no um, booster beams on this map. Because I just... I don't really have the time to lay out all the booster beams in the perfect, you know, nicely put, nicely laid out way that I would normally want. So, instead, I'm just going to go ahead and spam summoner minions like this. I don't know if there's a way to hotkey... Archers specifically. I know I can um oh, I didn't mean to phase out like that. Oops. I know I should have a hotkey for minions in general, I think, but I don't know if you can Is this one of those weird things with the summoner? I don't know if there is a hotkey for just like if I if or can you set one for straight up just building archers? I, I'm not sure at all. I'll come down here, set up a mini wall here, grab this chest before this wave actually begins. Things are moving once again, just really quickly. There's so little time to relax. There, there's no time to relax. These maps just move wildly, wildly quickly. I'm going to set up a wall of archers over here so they can't get to my deadly strike tower. My, my casting rate is so much significantly slower in the actual wave itself. We're not getting much XP here. Even on, It's kind of crazy. Even on Nightmare difficulty, I've only gained 60,000 experience on this map. That's kind of crazy. This map is much lower level than I expect then. That's really, that's really shocking to me, honestly. Um, I should be pretty safe and set up. I'll see you guys at the end of this wave here in a quick sec. There we go. That is the wave complete. I love the hockey masks. There's hockey masks on the, like, assassins. And they are really, really cool to see. I might even just go ahead and control G into this next wave since... Well, the wyverns are a little scary, to be fair. Let me at least get every tower built. Like, every, every defense unit built, if possible. I probably didn't even collect all things there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add archers over here once again because of this these, like, wispy roads. I think they mostly come on via these, like, wooden little uh, plank. Wooden porches, honestly, is the best way. Wooden overhangs that are right here are one of the main things. Yeah, right here as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. There's so much mana on the ground there as well. I'm going to spam upgrades. Get more archers built. Like I'm just... All I'm doing is spamming. It's crazy. I have 34 seconds left to build. I am just spamming. I, I'm trying to consume my mana as fast as possible. And I literally cannot spend it fast enough. 
That's like that's how much mana I'm getting on top of wow. That yeah, that's just wild actually. I literally just can't spend my mana fast enough. Let's head over here. I, I can't build fast enough. Even my defense units. Like I still have 80 out of 150 minion minion units. That is a ridiculous amount of units to be able to use. Oh, I'm gonna try, I guess, to just I'm just gonna stick to my summoner, I guess. I wanna grab this mana here if possible, but I'm not gonna make it in time. Yeah, not at all. I'm going to have some built back here just in case. Sometimes some wyverns or kobolds or certain, uh, you know, very fast, slick, sketchy minions could make their way back towards the back of crystals like this. And that's what, honestly one of the ways I could lose. So let's go ahead and take care of... I like thinking about, hey, like, what's, you know, worst case scenario? What's the worst case scenario here? And does it lose me the game, right? And try to factor that in. Helps your builds. It makes helps you make your decisions. Okay, building my archers here should be pretty solid. Once again, not like I'm only I'm only two million XP away from a level. I'm actually like not that far from a level at all on my summoner, but I'm gaining so little XP on this map that I'm not really getting any closer. So kind of weird to see that. There we go. You know what? Since I got an idea, since I have so many here, I have so many minion units in this map seems really easy. Dude, let's have some fun. Let's build some fun units that I normally wouldn't, like the ogre. That's fun, so let's go ahead and do that. We've got our ogre built to see what he can do. Ogre smash. We've got how many defense units left? Maybe I could just do more ogres? I, like, I'm really kind of just chilling. It's not like I need them for anything else, you know? Let's just go ahead and have a uh, an ogre here. I, don't, I, I really doubt it needs to be, but sure. I've got now I've got eight defense units left. Okay, so now I'll just place the rest with archers. Sure. That should be plenty. We'll grab whatever chests we can. The mana honestly might be not bad. Like the mana being um the chests being like all mythicals does probably correlate to pretty good mana drops. I'm gonna go ahead and pump upgrades wherever I can because some of the aura stacks are draining their HP a little bit. That's the main thing. I could just I could also just pop flash heals, honestly. If I'm actually worried about that. I'm going to run around and spam upgrades wherever I can. I'm going to go ahead and just jump into this next wave. Hit control G, or at least G should work. I don't have any other minions or other heroes set up on the map itself. All right. Should be a pretty easy map. I'll see you guys at the end of this combat wave. Look at the ogre get some of his swings in. It's not something we really get to see. Look at the kobold, the, like, werewolf kobold. Get your swing in, ogre. Okay, now he just explodes before he can even... Before he can even hit him. He's just he's just tanking the explosions, I guess. He does have those like little snot, snot balls for a ranged attack. That's kind of cool. There we go. Wave complete. Super easy. I really was not expecting this map to be this easy, to be totally honest. But for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and just jump in. Press G and just continue forward. I can't see myself losing this map to honestly anything. Once again, I always do the, the thought process of, hey, what, you know, worst case scenario, how do I lose? And... I don't see any honestly the best the only way I could lose is if my like internet or my power shuts off I don't like I'm not seeing another way where I lose this map. So let me just enjoy the ride Watch watch the cool little minions the werewolf kobolds the the funny spiders, you know uh, Let's just enjoy the map while we're here the, the goblins with pumpkins on their heads All right, there we go wave complete once again I think this will be the last wave right here final wave. Yep wave 11 final wave I don't know if there is a boss, but if there is I can't imagine it actually being difficult So I'm gonna go to press I'm gonna press G. We're gonna jump into final wave only 482,000 experience gained really 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 minimal XP. All right, here we are 861 out of 862. There it is the map completed. We defeated Halloween fellas Halloween. Oh, there it is. Wait, wait, wait. We got the ninja outfit. Okay. I don't know why it wasn't unlocked before. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, but we did actually just unlock the ninja outfit that time. So nightmare difficulty got it. Now let's head back to the menus and actually go get our reward and make our monk. All right, back at the character creation. Let's go ahead and create our monk. I haven't really decided on what I want aside from the ninja outfit. Maybe just the default colors. I don't know if there's like a color. Oh, I didn't think you could like recolor the... Wow. I kind of just like the basic one, honestly, unless I see something that really stands out to me. Maybe black and red. If, if get nice and little edgy, I guess. I hate, hate to be that, but sure. I guess that didn't... Well, to be fair, that only accented the... Uh, can you not spin the character? I would have loved to be able to, like, spin the actual... I'm trying to spin the spread of the character while I'm customizing. I don't think you can, hilariously. That didn't give the, uh... The parts of the monk that I thought... What is this even changing, actually? What is this making red? It's like his back... 
thing. I, yeah, his like back little moon or something. Honestly, that being red is kind of cool, I guess. I don't know if that would actually look good, but what's I'm trying to look for. Okay, honestly, the full red is kind of cool on the, uh, but I do want it to be a, a traditionally full black and then having this be red. I think this is what I'm looking for. This is cool to me. Very edgy and cringe, but hey, I don't know, man. If you're going to make, if you're going to make a, uh, a DPS monk, you might as well make him edgy, right? But, but wait, 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 look, wait, look, choose your, I think, look. I just realized it's still saying complete Halloween spectacular on at least hard to unlock. Why is it saying that? I, I just, I did, I did defeat it. We saw at the top of my screen saying it was defeated. Oh, that's unfortunate. I want to be able to play the, the ninja outfit. Do I have to try restart my game really quick to check? Okay, I restarted my game just to check. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. We're going to create a hero. We're going to go immediately to the monk. We're going to try to do the ninja outfit. That worked? Re okay sure i mean i'll happily take it hey man if it works it works okay i will happily i will happily take it sure okay awesome now what should i name it usually i do a a, a petrowski style of of oh what's the, ooh, what's the name here this is probably the worst stretch that i've ever done for the petrowski name sake i'm gonna do pat dps ski <laughs> There you go. Welcome to the family, Pat DPSD. Honestly, God, he's so edgy, but hey, man, if you're going to make a DPS character, he's got to kind of be edgy, I guess. Okay, wait. Oh, my goodness. Wait, going the ninja skin for the monk is actually so ridiculously OP because you get to do a flip every time you jump. Oh, my God. Every... I should make every single... I'm a, I'm a ninja monk one trick now, boys. Holy shit, this is so much cooler. Wait, and you like spin your weapon? Oh, this is so much cooler than anything else in the game. How do you beat a front flip like this? This reminds me of like classic WoW, where like if you just jump enough times, you randomly will do flips on certain classes like the druid, right? Um, or like the elves or whatever. Dude, I would, oh, I just did this all day. This is like, this is my favorite part of the game. But anyways, that is going to be it for today. Once again, we're kind of getting prerequisite stuff done to actually work towards real goals and real progress. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you enjoy the Dungeon Defenders videos every other day. I've seen a huge surge in numbers on this YouTube, which has been an absolute, like, it's so crazy. I never expected that. It's so amazing to see. I can't explain how happy I am. Uh, probably coming from the sale going on on Steam with, with Tower Defense games. And I hope we can see a revival of Dungeon Defenders. This game is amazing. It deserves it. This game is so good like the video if you enjoyed it dislike if you didn't subscribe to the channel for dungeon defenders videos every other day and thanks to my patreons i will see you guys later peace areno yo thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video and a huge shout out to everybody listed here who goes above and beyond supports the patreon and allows me to focus more on dungeon defenders content thanks again have a great day